How are you doing, Cali Crowd? Today we'll be discussing how to perform the straight bar dip, an exercise that is phenomenal at building functional vertical pushing strength and excellent at targeting your triceps, chest, and delts. It also has a host of cascading benefits to calisthenics techniques as well, such as the muscle up. Let's get into it. straight bar dip progressions. But first, let's quickly check off some do's and don'ts when it comes to this exercise. Starting with the first mistake, which is leaning on the bar. The main difference between the parallel bar dip and the straight bar dip is the emphasis the latter place on the chest and anterior delts. The more we lean on the bar, the more we are effectively stripping away aspects of this benefit, even if it does make the exercise somewhat easier. Leaning on the bar also decreases the transferability of this exercise to techniques such as the muscle up. To avoid leaning on the bar, we have to perform the dip in a slightly piked position, which places more stress on our core, another reason why I love this exercise. The second common mistake is poor hand placement. It can be extremely tempting to widen your hand placement for the straight bar dip, but especially if you're looking to use this movement to develop transferable pushing strength for the muscle up, it is key that you maintain the grip width that you would feel most comfortable with when you do muscle up. Thirdly, we have elbows flaring out. This tends to go hand in hand with the previous mistake of wide hand placement, and it's not uncommon to see elbows flared out far away from somebody's body line during the straight bar dip. But by keeping our hands closer together and ensuring our elbows bend back behind ourselves, we not only reduce the risk of shoulder impingement, but we also recruit far more of the rear delts and lats in this exercise. Next, we have turtling the neck during the straight bar dip. Having solid scapular depression strength is the bedrock of most calisthenics movements. This is illustrated in the straight bar dip by keeping your shoulders away from your ears. Really focus on keeping that chest loud and proud and squeezing those shoulder blades together. So that's the do's and don'ts out of the way. But this exercise is quite difficult, so if you're struggling to perform it, I'll give you two simple exercises that will allow you to build up the strength necessary to get to a straight bar dip with clean form. The first one is a straight bar scapular dip. This is an exercise that at first glance may go against what I mentioned earlier in the video about turtling the neck. Many of the people that make the turtling of the neck mistake in a straight bar dip do so because of poor scapular stability, which the straight bar scapular dip exercise will help to build. So here's how you do it. Starting from a turtled neck position, keep your arms straight and drive yourself up, taking your ears away from your shoulders as you do so. Hold it for a second, then slowly come down. The second progression exercise is simply the parallel bar dip. This is a phenomenal exercise in its own right. However, in relation to the straight bar dip, it places you in a far more mechanically advantageous position to push vertically. That being said, the main motor, the triceps, is the same in both exercises, so you see a lot of transferable benefits with the parallel bar dip to the straight bar dip. But that's it guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial and would like to be a part of the helpful and motivating community that we're building here, then be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring the bell as well so that you never miss out on a Cali to the Crowd video. I'll be back next week. And until then, peace.